I also was going to school, I'm dating myself, the 1960s, which was a time of a lot of cultural uh, unrest and experimentation and so forth and so on. So um, I did sort of have some dabbling in uh, recreational drugs. And uh, I guess this is like the one thing I might share in common with Stephen Jobs, um, certainly isn't his financial success. Um, is that we both feel that LSD was a very important sort of experience to have. Um, but in my case, I think it's a little different than in uh, Stephen's case. Um, in my case, the impact that it had on me, and this was after I had read Freud and I was really just completely fascinated by his, his uh, uh, theory, um, was how you could take a tiny amount of a pharmacologic substance, 50 micrograms or so, and it could so profoundly change your state of mind. And if this was the case, then by some slight error in an enzyme or a cofactor or the synthesis of a neurotransmitter, you could, you could change the way a person's mental state was very powerfully. So this sort of uh, uh, exemplified this kind of dichotomy, which really is the essence of psychiatry and mental illness. Um, which is on one hand clearly reductionistic, or reducible to neurobiology, but at the same time also reflects the ephemeral and the existential.